गुड मॉर्निंग सो ब्राइट हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्लीपिंग इज इज मामा स्लीपिंग हियर नाउ इट्स अ बॉल इट्स बॉल ओके हेलो बॉल गुड मॉर्निंग Hello, chilly morning. So I have to wear a sweater on. Here's my little kitchen corner. I have like a three-spot uh, gas stove, and I'm boiling eggs now for breakfast. And then I have to also boil uh, water for coffee. And once I get this uh, plate here down, then I'm going to make sandwiches for us. मेरा भी गोइंग हम going on an adventure to Hanko to the actual town because we are maybe 10 minutes bicycle ride away from the town uh we're going to go check a couple of nature trails and then just lounge around the spectacularly pretty old Hanko town it's like seriously in the summer time it is one of the most spectacular places uh in Finland dalalaila bye bye mama bye bye Oh man Is this very nice mama? Yes. Are you having so much fun? Now I'm dream dreaming about these houses. Yeah. I would really have to <laughs> practice my Swedish again to move here. This it's mainly a Swedish speaking area. It's really pretty. Yeah. And that fence there. Oh. Oh, that's so cute, the garden. Yeah. Oh, this is a completely different house, but pretty nice. It's like a mansion. You know, you want to go there in this park? Oh, shall we stop here for Yana? She wants to go there. Yes, we are stopping here, nigga. <laughs> ah, Annika found something else.
Okay, so I have to check the specifics of what a giant scatter is so that I'm not inaccurate. And it's like typically large and cylindrical pothole drilled in solid rock and it's like underlying a glacier. Yes. Where do we come to? See? Monica, we have to be very careful here. doubled its price in the past few years. Yeah. It's no matter how awesome the fish buffet is, I'm not gonna pay more than 50 euros for it yeah. per person. 50, 5 zero. Yes. What? I, I'll agree to pay 30 euros for it, which is what was its price earlier. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. No, but it's totally worth it. Really? How? It's like so much salmon and uh, all these like silk and silly and well, yeah her herrings uh. and uh, like all like shrimps like so many different kinds of seafood things uh. and this trip this buffet is the only thing that I'm willing to splurge on uh. even if I have my upper limit I can't, I can't even begin to explain how thrilled I am over my plate. Uh, so, so we've come to this like um, we've come to one of the like most famous fish buffets in Hanko and being a coastal city, coastal town in Finland of all places, which anyways like you know hugely, hugely consumes fish in its diet. It's just like the thing to do here. It's a little expensive, but I thought, told Vinod you know, that if there's one thing that I want to splurge in, it's this. So otherwise we'll be just like, you know, eating the cheapest things <laughs> in uh, the mobile home. But here I have like so many different types of fish. I'm not entirely sure which fish this is because there were no signs, but it's some, uh, I think, Finnish white fish. Then I have these shrimps here, potato salad, mushroom salad, olives, uh, Finnish uh, kind of this uh, oven made cheese. And uh, there's, I think, wait, I, I think I took three different types of herring. I have smoked salmon, uh, this is kind of like a Finnish type ca caviar. Somewhere here there's uh, seashells, I have archipelago bread, and then I have these uh, traditional herring rolls. It's like, I'm not sure what it's in, uh, in English, but it's this like really good fish roll that my grandma used to always make for me at Christmas time. So I'm just gonna dig in and hope that Annika doesn't want all my food because we're still waiting for her salmon. Annika, my grandma is very old. She's, she's in heaven. Mm. One of the like best things about Finnish restaurants in my opinion is that like because basically we are in a fancy fish restaurant now and not all kids would be loving fish. So they have kids menus even in the fancier places. So we got uh, salmon and french fries for Annika and she's absolutely loving her fish now. Do you want mama to give you? Mm. 
Because <laughs> I'm thinking the caviar might not be on Mika's thing. <laughs> Even though sometimes she does surprise us and eat the like weirdest things for a child to be eating. And there's watermelon in her salad. <laughs> I think it's a good thing that we saved the like the whole walking tour in this area for after lunch. I'm so full. I need to digest. Oh. Both me and my mom have completely forgotten the name of this place. So I'm really happy that I found it because I've been here for the fish buffet earlier too. And it's still as good. It's worth the splurge. Uh, so this is a memorial that has been uh, put here to uh, like reminisce about the like the great emigration from Finland uh, when tens of thousands of Finnish people left uh, the country uh, through Hanko because it's the southernmost point here so it was very an easy route to take by the sea and yeah because still in the late 1800s and early 1900s Finland was a very poor country so a lot of people migrated for better chances we weren't always the happiest country in the world yes, and now we are trying to get more people to come here yes let's go yes oh man Will you catch me if I jump? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Papa. Wow. <laughs> Mama, Mama. Anika, Anika. Very nice, right? Yeah. You said that there would be no beaches. Like, <laughs> go on beaches in Finland. Of course, we don't have a beach hops. So cheap alcohol, but. <laughs> but so yeah, the thing about Hanko is that more than anything, uh, it's a beach town, and it's uh, except for maybe Pori, uh, which is a little more to the north, it's the beach getaway in Finland. There's lots, of, uh, multiple of these like sandy beaches here, and Hanko is supposed to be the sunniest town in Finland and even though it hasn't been that sunny during our 24 hours here it is like an amazing place to come to uh, for proper beach there's a lot of beach activities here like different types of surfing kayaking lots of sailing actually when once we leave tomorrow morning this huge I think biggest sailing event regatta uh, starts here for the weekend so the whole town is gonna be fully booked so I'm very glad that we're gonna get out before that starts and it's the, at least this beach here it's surrounded by some pretty nice buildings there's the uh, green villa there which I think is a like boutique hotel uh, there's the church and the water tower be behind us Sand castle, sand castle, where are you? Everyone knows Annika wants chocolate. Is that actually good? It's cold. I think like... like because Hango used to be like a spa town where mm -hmm. people came to relax and to rejuvenate. So 
like big part of that was, was, was that kind of like natural setting so like these that whole garden area was a part of it and then this nature trail to there so that like people could just like take these air baths which is like okay air baths you can also go take a bath in the sea but you know whatever but anyways like it's supposed to be like a really that kind of in english it's called path of love so maybe that will like you know get us into that whole lovey-dovey mode too mostly for ourselves because you know self-love and all that that's a big part of the wellness <laughs> I wish there was something that could relax Annika. <laughs> yes, Annika. Annika hoitaa, Annika ottaa äidin kiinni. We are running to an adventure. Yay! Let's run here, come. here it's like pretty amazing that's like the kind of when I think about Finnish coastline these cliffs and everything that's what I think about I don't think about be sandy beaches and all mm -hmm. of that which is like spectacular in India and everything but when I'm in India I miss this mm -hmm. now I miss Goa <laughs> let's go Nika I think we've had enough activities for the day. Maybe we'll still take a cooling dip at the uh, Silver Sand camping site. But yeah, it's been a really wonderful day. It's like really nice just to move around and see places. Oh. <laughs> yes, come. I'm not moving. I'm moving. <laughs> Anika, did you have fun today? And did you have ice cream today? <laughs> yes. How was the ice cream? Was it very good? <laughs> <laughs> yep, no more. Shall Let's we? Go. Yep. I think it's eating acorns. Hmm. <laughs> Mana, why are you sitting on my chair? My chair. It's my chair. Look, your hands are so cold. Anika, are you freezing? Anika became Elsa. Yeah, but this is really nice. Yeah. This would be even nicer if it was like a truly warm. Mm. Nice. I like dipped my big toe and I'm oh, goosebumps. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> Fun. I'm like, I've become too Indian while in India. <laughs> Freezing. <laughs> but she's enjoying it. I'm like, how is she enjoying it? <gasps> Let's go, Anika.
Hi there, just getting breakfast. Oh. Or sir, can you just uh, come down the stairs? Mm. I really wish we could be spending more time here. This it maybe it's because I've been to Hanko and I've lived here for one summer when I was working here, but I think this is a spectacular place and I feel like we didn't even scratch the surface on what to see and do here in just like one full day. I could spend the whole summer here to be honest or like we were talking today, maybe we'll buy a house for the summer season here in the future or we'll have to see if we win in the lottery. But at least yeah, the lesson that I learned today was that <laughs> I can't try to fit all the gazillion things that I want to do in one place to just 24 hours. So even if today was a little bit of mission to mash of trying to hurry to like everything that I wanted to do in the coming destinations, I will know that we'll just need to focus on the essentials, which is the wonderful camping adventure experience and then uh, because we have our bicycles, of course, like, you know, cycling around the areas is a must, but then just like one or two places tops that we're gonna go and see out in the nature, because it's not like we're trying to have this like cultured experience of like finding all the fancy restaurants and uh, places to shop in. So yeah, we'll focus on the camping and nature adventure take it easy relax while having an adventure even if it's <laughs> a little bit difficult with Annika and then yeah of course like we'll have to try the local ar archipelago cuisine for maybe one meal a day but I do also like the idea of essentially just like you know cooking those simple meals in our motor home so yeah, we'll definitely need to be spending more time camping in our new home on wheels. <laughs> this is really nice too.